So for the next installation of our Knot Tying 101 series, we're going to be doing a video on how to tie the Prusik Knot. So get ready for that. Do you like the outdoors or doors that are outside? If you do, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. I can't promise that there will be anything about outside doors, but I can tell you that if you like the outdoors, we will post videos all the time that have to do with outside doors, not doors that are outside. Let me be clear. If you like videos about doors that are outside, you should not subscribe to this channel because we will not post anything along that line. But outside doors, no, doors, outs, the outdoors, we do post videos about rock climbing, mountaineering, backpacking, camping, anything your heart could desire except for outside doors. Subscribe. What's going on guys? Trevor Long here for Sawback Gear and today we're going to be going over the Prusik Knot. This is the next video in our Knot Tying 101 series and the first video in the series about friction knots. Let me be clear, this is not technically a knot. It's not a knot. Uh, but it is not related and so it is going in this tutorial series. Friction knots are their own subset of tying related things that you do um, and they're used to provide friction. Uh, the main purpose of a Prusik knot, or, or probably the most common use of a Prusik knot, is either as a progress capture device in some kind of pulley system, or used as like an ascender or a backup ascender when you're trying to scale vertically up a rope. It's not a particularly challenging knot to tie, and so we're gonna jump in, I'm gonna show you how to tie it, and I'm gonna have you guys practice at the end because practice makes you better. So to tie this knot, all you really need is a loop of cord, and if you don't know how to make a loop of cord, you should go back and watch our video about the double fisherman's knot. You can see here, I used one to tie this loop of cord. Take your Prusik loop, and you're going to take the loop that's away from the knot, and you're going to place it over the uh, rope that you're gonna be tying the Prusik knot onto. So you take your Prusik loop and your rope. Now what you're gonna do, is because the knot is on the exact opposite end, you're gonna trust me on this one, pull one strand a little bit more than the other. The reason you're gonna do that is because now this knot is off center. You don't want the knot to be at the very tip because that's where your carabiner is gonna go and you do not want your carabiner resting on your knot. It's gonna cause all kinds of problems. So you just pull a little bit extra on one of the sides so that way the knot is off center and that's what you need to do. So now you're going to take this end of the loop that's on the far side of the rope and you're gonna loop the back side of it, of the Prusik loop through that end a couple times. Now the number of times that you do this really depends on a couple of things. The thickness of the rope that you're tying onto, the thickness of the Prusik loop that you're using, and a couple other things like whether the rope is wet or not. So really you gotta feel it out in the situation. Three to four loops is a good rule of thumb, but like I said, you really gotta use your, uh, your critical thinking skills when you tie this. Just make sure that you test it before you rely on it. Make sure it's gripping properly. So that was one loop, or one wrap. Now we're gonna do it again, so you spread it out a little bit. Pull it another one through, that's two. And you're gonna wanna keep dressing this as you go so nothing's overlapping. It'll make your job easier in the end. And we're gonna do one more for this one, three. So now it's all about dressing it because Prusiks get out of hand really quickly. Make sure nothing is overlapping. None of these loops overlap each other. Pull these ones up here. Start tightening the knot up. Again, remove some of the overlap. All right, so now you can see the Prusik knot as it should look. Well dressed, wrapped around it six times because I did three loops, two on each side, that's three. You can see that my knot is off center so that it will not ride on the carabiner. And you can see that this Prusik loop slides up and down easily, which is what you want. Except for when you pull on the end of it, you can see that if I tug on this, it bites into the rope and it won't move. But then if I grab the knot, it slides up and down, pulling on this end, doesn't do anything, up and down. And that's the main benefit of the Prusik knot. You can move it up and down the rope, but if you tug on the tail, it will lock. Now this is useful if you're trying to use a progress capture device, like um, in a pulley system. You can pull the rope through using the knot itself and pull up the slack, but then when you let go of the rope and it's trying to go back down, you can use it to catch your progress, or you can use this as an ascender if you tie this to your waist belt and you slide it up, weight it, it'll stop. Then you can move up with your feet, slide it up further, weight it again, move up with your feet, 
and um, it becomes a useful progress capture device. Uh, like I said, it's not a particularly difficult knot to tie. Uh, we'll do it one more time for you guys just so you can get a hang of it. So one more time, we're gonna take the Prusik loop, push it on, pull one end a little bit further than the other, then take it through once, twice, thrice, And now we got this big jumbled mess of stuff. And so just start dressing it up and tightening the knot down. Make sure nothing overlaps. Everything is properly done and dressed. And there we go. Now we've got the Prusik knot. You slide it up and down, pull on it to create friction. And anytime you need a friction knot, and there you got your Prusik. There are lots of other friction knots. Some of them we will be covering in this series in future videos, but this is probably the most common uh, friction knot that I can think of. And it's definitely the one whose name is pretty much synonymous with friction knots. The Prusik is useful for myriads of situations. And anytime you need something to grip onto your rope, think of Prusik. If you liked the video today, guys, or if you learned anything, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, or if there's a specific knot or friction knot that you wanna learn, go ahead and leave that in the comments and uh, we'll get to that when we can, definitely. Other than that, subscribe to the channel if you like our content and want to continue learning more with us. And um, yeah, other than that, I've been Trevor Long for Sawback Gear and I look forward to seeing you outside.